Hey everybody, this is Jacob from Leading Edge Industrial and I'm here today with a walkthrough on how to properly unbox our HX Series 2 CNC machines. Before your machine arrives, it's important to be prepared so that your delivery process can go as smooth as possible. All of our machine orders are shipped via freight and your machines are going to be arriving in a palletized container. If you don't have a loading dock available at your location, don't worry. We can send you a truck that has a tailgate lift. The drive of the truck will also provide a complimentary pallet jack so that way the palletized container can easily be rolled into your facility. Please note that pallet jacks cannot be used on gravel driveways, stairs, and dirt paths. If you have any obstacles obstructing the path of the pallet as it moves from the truck into your facility, it's important that you plan accordingly before your machines arrive. The following tools are required to complete the unboxing process. Scissors, knife, and or box cutter. A star six lobe torque T20 drive bit or screwdriver. Let's get started. You've ordered your machines and the freight company has arrived at your location for delivery. Here are six quick, easy steps to ensure a safe and proper unboxing. Step one, before signing the delivery receipt, visually inspect the shipping container for any damages. It's important that you inspect the shipping container for any potential damage that may have occurred during the shipping process. Keep an eye out for any puncture marks, buckling, and or other visual signs that could suggest that the shipping container's integrity has been compromised. If you do find any signs of damage, here are a couple things to remember. Sign the delivery receipt is damaged. Failure to do this step could lead to your freight claim amount being reduced to a settlement or even worse, being denied altogether. Notate all damages and take pictures. If only one item has been notated as damaged, more likely than not, the carrier will only refund that one item. Be specific. For example, if there's a hole through the sidewall of your palletized container, write puncture through sidewall of shipping container. Subject to inspection is not a valid notation to write on the delivery receipt. This notation alone isn't enough to hold the carrier liable. When in doubt, notate damaged and remember to be specific. If you must, outright refuse the freight shipment. For more information regarding freight claims, be sure to read our shipping policy FAQs found on our website. Step 2. Open the container. In order to open the shipping container, the two plastic bands securing the lid to the pallet need to be cut. Remember to wear safety glasses and use caution when cutting, as the bands are held in place under tension and may fly up towards your face. To prevent this, we recommend holding the bands down as you cut. Remove the lid and side walls of the shipping container. Step 3. Visually inspect the contents of the shipment. Ensure that the machines are still strapped to the bed of the pallet. Notate and take pictures of any damages. Step 4. Cut the straps that hold the machines to the base of the pallet. Again, wear safety glasses and use caution when cutting. Step 5. Lift the machine from the pallet. To make this process as simple as possible, we recommend team lifting the machine with at least two people. Lift the machines from the bottom four corners while being careful to not smash your fingers. Please note, do not lift the machines by the electronics box, which is located on the back side of our HX Series 2 machines, as it is not designed to support the full weight of the machine. 
If the recommended team lift is not an option for you, you can also lift your machines through a variety of other methods including forklifts, engine hoists, portable gantry cranes, and hydraulic jacks. Most of these devices can be easily rented at a tool rental outlet in your area. However, if you must understand that you are completely responsible for the safety of this operation, as well as any permanent damage that is inflicted upon the machine. Please take this responsibility seriously. If you conduct risky practices or operations that are not planned out, you're risking not only your machine, but the equipment and the lives of those around you. Step six, prepare your machine for operation. If you ordered an HX8610 vertical machining center, you will need to complete a few more steps prior to powering on the machine. Unscrew the door handles using the torque screwdriver bit and attach them to the outside face of the doors. The handles are placed on the inside face of the doors prior to leaving our facility in order to maximize the space inside of our shipping pallets. Remove the cardboard tube bracing the sidewalls from inside the machine. The cardboard tube protecting the spindle and the foam cover protecting the machine table can easily be removed after homing your machine. Lastly, remove the inside film from all polycarbonate windows. Your machines are now ready to be plugged in and powered on. Be sure to watch our maintenance videos on adjusting the Gibbs and running break-in programs before you use your machine. As always, thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification icon below to be alerted whenever we upload a new video. See you next time.